what's up guys that's here um so today i'm gonna go over why i went necro lord on my vengeance demon hunter um i'm gonna go over soul binds uh my personal reasoning and why i wanted to make the switch so let's go ahead and get into it okay so first things first um the main reason why i went necro lord is just because for one having the, the rework to fleshcraft and having it they buffed it in the shield so i don't have all my renown yet so my shield's not gonna be as big as it, it's going to be once i get max now but like right now it's it's 26 967 the 26k shield 27k shield essentially right now uh when i get my stand buff it will be a lot more um i think i hopped on the ptr when i was at max renown when i was carrying and i think it was like 32k um that's massive man uh, especially the way the tank meta is right now going in with a 32k shield on pretty much every pool uh is is huge um just because a lot of times you don't have resources going into a pool so you kind of go in and you're super squishy so having that right off the jump to allow you to build up some pain and <clears throat> and and be able to you know either get fail dev off or or just start soul cleaving or spear bomb whatever build that you want to go um is, is really nice uh and the soul binds this is another big reason um kyrian with the nerfs to kyrian and, and 9.0.5 like they they nerfed the damage which was like the main reason why most people went kyrian that and having kyrian as your tank you know for the necrotic wake and uh and the spires kyrian buffs that you get from that dungeon it is really big um but at the end of the day you're, you're still a tank and you, you need to do what you can to be able to survive in in higher keys um and i like to play with paladins and you know paladins should be kyrian unless they're still raiding so having two kyrians and no like the lord especially for the kind of group that i run with as well is uh is not a big deal so um that's another good reason but the kyrian soul binds were just really bad for tanks um I'll, i'm gonna pull up a picture of the soul binds and go over the kyrian ones and then about first i'm gonna show the necro lord ones so <clears throat> just just the very first one right like a uh, plague divisor the uh volatile solvent is really good man like just this whole soul bind tree is just just the first one is just really good so i mean after a mob you flush crab after a mob you could get buffs raining from stam increases agility increases armor increases um it's you know primary stat increases there's a, a damage increase there's just there's a lot of buffs that you can get from the volatile solvent and they last a long time and they're just up the the uptime on them is huge um this one is massive um i've been running with this pretty much all week and this when you as a tank you drop below 50 often and you get a 50 percent uh shield for 10 seconds like, this is huge this does you know I, I was just running you know 15s farming valor and stuff this week and and this was doing you know 10 percent of my healing right like that that's a that's a lot for a tank uh it's it's just a good it's another good defensive like soul bind it's a soul bind that really helps tanks um and then this right here when i you know i'm 28 right now i should get my renown the rest of the day but when you're done channeling flesh flesh craft you regenerate two percent health every one second so for example i'm in a mob fleshcraft is back up i'm in a pack i can leap away channel fleshcraft get my 30k shield and while once i finish my fleshcraft channel i'm now regening two percent health every one second so i now can leap back in with health regen and a massive shield and i can leap back in i don't have to run around and kite and make things you know all spread out i can jump out fleshcraft jump back in it's just it's massive right it's huge so this one is really good and i will be running with this one pretty much the majority of the time uh, a mini is also really really good and this is why so a mini with the way the fodder works now it procs pretty often 
and every time you fought every time fodder um every time it procs you get lead by example and this for one is a huge stat in, stat boost for you but it also boosts your group so this is a really really good one to to use as well because now you're not only buffing yourself but you're buffing your group which is huge um this one is some I, again it's really hard for me to pick which one i really want to go with because each one of these soul binds are so good for tanks um especially with the way high in plus works right and many this right here where you're able to channel flesh craft while moving is massive <laughs> it's absolutely massive because now it's like okay great we just killed this black flesh craft is up now i can just literally you know start flesh crafting and, and just leap away and my and i don't have to stop and wait for the channel it's just a little min maxing time it's just nice to have and also on boss fights you know and stuff or trash packs whatever if it's up you can literally just you know start flesh crafting and and run run around while you're while you're getting this big absorb shield which is really really nice um these other two right here um are nice like the haste one is is pretty cool um just because the way trash packs work things do trickle die like they die you know one by one a lot of the times depending on your affixes so gaining three percent haste for 10 seconds every time an enemy dies is nice um uh this one is it's okay i, I probably won't be running this one just because I don't, i'm not a huge fan of double finesse unless this is insane uh and then this one is it's just movement speed but if you want double potency if you want a potency well you're gonna go this you know you could do that that's your choice but uh, this right here is these two are, are very big this is why i would probably go a mini just because these two are really really good now this is a really niche one and this is something that i'll be running uh probably for certain dungeons but essentially the way that i look at this is this is another cheat death right forgeborn uh reveries so when you die you stay alive for 10 seconds okay um you do less damage and you can't take any healing but what this does is instead of you dying instantly on a trash pack or a boss or whatever you now have 10 seconds to cc the mobs let your let your team run away get some distance from the mobs so one of them don't just get clipped in one shot I can CC them, I can change them, fear them, whatever, get them in a state to where when I do actually die, I can get back up, fleshcraft, and jump right back in. And it doesn't turn into a huge wipe. So this is this is really massive. Um, this is like certain dungeons like Sanguine Depths and um like the other side, certain certain pools that you know you know your cheat's probably gonna prop because it's a big pool. You know what I mean? And you, you know, you're doing something like a really massive pull, a really dangerous pull. This will be really nice to have as a as a backup. So if you do die, you can stay alive and, and help keep your team alive as well. Um, and these last two are also just super good. This is be the only time I ever run double finesse because I haven't really got to test this yet because I haven't unlocked it, but defeating an enemy restores 3% of your maximum health every six seconds for six seconds stacking up to five times the big part about this is adding stacks refreshes their duration so again on, on dungeons like the other side and saying when where things have a lot of different levels of health then their health pools are different things are going to die before other things this will be really nice because now you have this massive you know stacking heal while the pack is dying which is when you're usually running anyways is when the pack is dying and you're kind of out of buttons and so you're kind of hiding the rest of the pack out well if you have a stacking heal that's refreshing every time something dies now you get to stay in this pack and you don't have to run it around and your dps can do more damage the whole point of me going necro from kyrian is i want if i have to lose three to five percent overall damage to gain survivability and being able to have my team do more damage then i'm okay with that um because i think that's how tanking is supposed to be you're, you're supposed to be able to sit yeah you want to look at how can i best serve my team and get my team to do more damage so we can move faster if if a mage combusts and you know three seconds into his combust i have to run away he's losing so much uptime on his flame patches because i'm kiting 
and I have to run from these mobs. So this is the main reason why I went Necro Lord. These soul binds are insane. Um, the I've, I've tested this guy out a lot this week because this is who you unlock first, and it is really really good. You feel a lot. You feel like a tank, right? Like you feel a lot better when you ha when you know you have things to help you survive. If if I go, let me see if I can go here. If I go to and show you the Kyrian soul binds, right? Kyrian soul bind. So okay, so here's the Kyrian soul bind. So this is Pelagos combat meditation, which they changed. They nerfed it originally. Yeah, it gave you a lot more mastery, but they nerfed it. So it drops little orbs when you use decree, and it increases your your mastery. Okay, defeating your, an enemy lowers the cooldown of vial your file, right? Which is which was good. This is a movement speed, and this right here, I started using towards the end. It was actually a really big heal. Uh, you pressed it like when you were low, and it healed you for 35% extra than what its normal heal was. But it's like a hot, which is not bad. But that, the, so really the only one that really helped you was this. It gave you a heal, okay? Uh, these are just... And then let go of the past. 3% magic reduction. Okay. Kelio, Valiant Strikes. This was the uh, the crit one that stacked, and then once you reach a certain stacks, it would heal. It didn't really do for that much healing. It wasn't that great. Um, this one was okay, but at your tank, you're never always above 90% health. Um, this one was a niche one you could use in like plague and stuff like that. This would have been good if the shield was more. 10% of your maximum health. Like, especially if you're moving quickly and you're up for time, you're not really out of combat for that much. You never really want to be out of combat for that long while pushing high keys. You want to just be going from pool to pool to pool. This was okay, not insane, because it was only 10%. If you looked at the um the uh the necrolord one it's a 15 percent shield every 30 seconds which is huge this is another movement speed one this was this is a healing one that you never expect into this is a, a slow and critical chance uh strike is increased for one person this wasn't bad for this this definitely wasn't bad and then this guy, Braun, was is absolutely ass. I thought this was going to be really cool when I first unlocked it and then ran it a few times. It was actually dumpster. Um, again, damaging a new enemy, you're only going to hit one, one target in one pack, so you're only going to get 3% haste once on a pool. And then this stun was okay. It was not bad. This was probably the best one that Kyrian had to offer for tank as a defensive, right? But if you look at all these compared to the Necrolord ones, they're just there's nothing here that actually just helps tank. And Necro has so many things that actually just helps tank. And on top of that, now that you are a Necrolord, you get the Necrolord dungeon buffs, which no one really ever has because you never really ran with a Necrolord. And also, you get to play with talents. Like, I'm running a really weird, weird build at the moment. And um, this build is going to be... I'm not going to be playing Burning Alive once I get the uh, my new Lego made. I'll be running a full uh, Spirit Bomb build without Fracture. Okay? So, what all this is going to do is I'm going to run Agonizing Flames due to the Conduit. There's no reason not to. The Conduit's just... In, the condo is just too good it's too much it's too much damage right like it's just a lot of really good consistent damage um 
but I'll be running Fallout and Spirit Bomb. I'll be running the Spirit Bomb build without Fracture. I'll be running Soul Rending because the new change to Dark Glare Medallion has failed. So has a 40% chance not to carry his cooldown, which is massive because this works really good with um, the Talon Demonic, which puts you in meta for six seconds. So if you fail dev and it doesn't occur as cooldown, you can fail dev again. That's another six seconds. And on top of that, soul rending puts you grants you 25% leech while meta while you're in meta. So you, you just become unkillable. It's kind of like the old gluttony build essentially without gluttony. Right? So it's like you you're just you're super tanky, which is uh, what Shadowlands is severely lacking is tanks being tanks. Um and this new build with necro uh this new push week that i will be coming out with or this new push week that is now out with reset i'm really excited to get in and start and start testing out some of uh some of this build with the new uh legendary and just and just feel like a tank again so yeah come by the stream come hang out this week i'll be doing a lot of keys and uh we have some big announcements coming by but this is uh the reason why i went necro lord i think if you're a vengeance demon hunter um, I really would uh, would give Necrolord a look at, um, not only because uh, first of all you look amazing, right? You actually have demon hunt. You don't, you know, you're a demon hunter, right? So it's it's nice to actually have the aesthetic back, and you just you have a lot of really cool stuff that you can play around with, um, and not a lot of people has done it yet. So give it a look. Um, if you have any questions, come by the stream. The link will be in the description. Thanks, guys. Peace.